From sexist remarks to trying to challenge Chef Ramsay, this contestant was the biggest jerk to ever be on Hell's Kitchen. Joseph Tonelli was a contestant in Season 6 who ranked in 15th place. Joseph would have probably ranked higher if he didn't act out. Anyway, this ex-marine had no control over his temper, which was his biggest flaw. But to make things even worse, he was also incredibly disrespectful. While everyone had their eyes on the prize, he behaved like he was the only serious contestant the show has ever seen. I'm not like every other chef out there. I figured that this might be the way I can actually step to the top. This is what I can take. According to him, what made him different from everyone was that he was Joseph. My background, who I am, where I came from. I know there's no one else like me. That's pretty egotistical. On the first day, while everyone was having fun interacting and taking notes about tips given by the former contestants, Joseph just looked bored. He had this know-it-all attitude and none of the tricks given by the former contestants seemed to impress him. This was made clear through his interaction with Colleen Creek. During her time in Season 5, Colleen had run into some trouble where she sent her food out to the pass without tasting it. So while sharing her experience with the newbie contestants, she brought this incident up. And it totally makes sense to take note of this. Sometimes the pressure of the competition and being under Chef Ramsay's watch can overwhelm you and make you mess up. The sole purpose of this interaction was to remind the new contestants how the competition could affect their decision making. But Joseph wasn't having any of it. When Colleen was done, he sarcastically added that he hoped someone would teach him how to tie his shoelaces. Thanks to his know-it-all attitude, he openly trashed Colleen's tip, which according to him, was way too dumb to be shared. Being someone who had such a sour attitude from the get-go, Joseph's response was a clear indicator that he wasn't going to be a fun person to be around. And sure enough, he proved to be the jerk we expected him to be. In the first episode during the signature dish challenge, Joseph was the third person to have his dish judged by Chef Ramsay, and he went up against Neil Middleton. Before revealing his dish, Joseph stated that he was going to have to do everything it took to win this competition. But how he said it will make you raise your eyebrows. I want this, and I'm going to get this. None of them will get my way. Joseph then presented a roasted veal chop with vegetables. The meat was perfectly cooked, but the Brussels sprouts needed some more time for the right crunch. Seeing the undercooked Brussels sprouts, Chef Ramsay asked Joseph to taste them. But instead of directly listening to Chef Ramsay's request, he got defensive and asked for a fork. When Chef Ramsay told him that he could take a bite without a fork, Joseph shocked everyone in the room by saying this. I'm not an animal. Okay, now that level of arrogance wasn't required. And definitely not with Chef Ramsay. Chef Ramsay immediately asked him to not get so defensive, but Joseph wasn't ready to let loose. To make things even worse, he declared that it looked like he was going to go head to head with Chef Ramsay. Well, good thing he didn't say this to Chef Ramsay's face, since if he did, I'm sure he wouldn't have been as confident. But Chef Ramsay could tell what was up, and he wasn't scared at all. He gave Joseph one long stare to remind him who he was talking to, and then tried to play it down by saying this. Relax. What a shame. Anyway, in the end, his dish failed to score a point, and he ended up losing the round to Tanil. Despite that, Joseph got to taste the sweetness of victory after the blue team eventually won the next challenge. They were rewarded with a dinner on the Hell's Kitchen patio where they ate dishes from Chef Ramsay's London West Hollywood. But Joseph proved once again to everyone that he was going to be a pain in the butt. During the dinner, he made a very sexist comment about the red team. And this didn't sit very well with any of the contestants who were just trying to enjoy themselves. He then made a sly remark while raising a toast to the women by saying this. This one remark was more than enough to show you how Joseph truly was. Every time this man came on screen, he did or said something controversial. Plus, it would always get worse. That same night during the dinner service, Joseph was at the garnish station with Dave Levy. When the blue team had served 8 tables of appetizers, Louis Cardio was caught doing some of Joseph's job by cooking the spinach. Then Chef Ramsay asked Joseph why Louis was doing his job, and he bluntly replied that he didn't know. Louis then said that he believed that he should be the one to put all the dishes together. After Chef Ramsay told Louis not to touch the spinach since they already had enough problems cooking the lamb, Joseph asked if he could cook the lamb himself. But Chef Ramsay refused. He also snubbed Joseph by telling him that he looked like an absolute idiot. Hearing this, Joseph obviously felt humiliated, and he reacted very aggressively by telling Chef Ramsay that he's got it. Every other contestant who was witnessing this felt shocked. Jim McGloin even went on to say that Joseph was acting like he was at war despite being in a kitchen. And he only had one piece of advice to offer. It was to calm down and cook some carrots. 
The service, however, did end on a bad note, and both kitchens were eventually shut down. Despite the disastrous end, the blue team won the service for serving a few entrees. So, one way or another, whether he deserved it or not, Joseph always ended up winning the challenges thanks to his team's combined effort. The next day, Chef Ramsay introduced the shrimp cleaning challenge to both the teams. And once again, Joseph was back to being his cocky self. When Chef Ramsay was explaining the challenge, while all the contestants listened to the instructions, Joseph was just overconfident. He declared that it was a very easy challenge and one that even a simple cook could do. However, when it was time to have his dish judged, his confidence fell into the abyss. Joseph was the fourth person to have his dish judged. The famous chef found Joseph's performance to be disappointing since he only managed to clean five shrimps. Well, it looks like the challenge wasn't that simple after all. However, once again, he was able to join the victory toast after the blue team defeated the red team by 45 to 44. The blue team was rewarded with a day at Newport Beach for a lunch of seafood, shrimp, and a raw bar with Chef Ramsay. I have to say, Joseph was one lucky guy, but he failed to acknowledge this. Now, how many contestants do you know who screwed up almost all of their challenges and still managed to celebrate a win with their team? Barely any. But Joseph didn't deserve those rewards. And he wouldn't even let others enjoy what they earned. While everyone was enjoying their meal and ecstatic to have lunch with Chef Ramsay, Joseph just didn't seem to enjoy any of it. He stated that he was learning nothing throughout his time on Hell's Kitchen and asserted that nothing gets accomplished by just running the mouth. But wait, isn't that exactly what he was doing? With his little sly speech, Joseph managed to ruin the fun and disappoint Chef Ramsay with his useless and absurd comments. I didn't come here for lunches and all this, you know. That's not what I'm here for. I'm not gonna lose my eye. Everybody was visibly taken aback by Joseph's words, but Dave Levy didn't want anyone to spoil his mood. He was feeling fired up and even relaxed at the same time to dine alongside Chef Ramsay. But despite that, Joseph continued to ruin the atmosphere. It's good to get out, but I don't really care. After listening to that comment, Dave said that Joseph was hot-headed and a little too intense with the way he was trying to disrespect Chef Ramsay. While everyone was clearly having fun and enjoying their dessert, Joseph was the only one who looked uncomfortable. In fact, he looked pissed. Okay, so what was this guy's problem actually? The next day, during the dinner service, Joseph was at the appetizer station with Jim. Before the tickets even came in, Joseph, Kevin Cottle, and Van Hurd tried motivating themselves. And for once, Joseph said that he would do everything that he could to make sure that they worked together. And when Kevin sent a raw halibut to the pass, Joseph suggested cooking the fish by himself since he didn't want to have a bad finish. He then took vocal control of the fish stations and asked the blue team to shut up and relax since they were looking like chickens. After many struggles in both kitchens, Chef Ramsay ordered the teams to send shrimp cocktails to the diners and shut the kitchen down. Now, during the deliberations, Chef Ramsay asked Joseph to name a nominee, and that's when all hell broke loose. Instead of just following Chef Ramsay's instructions, he decided to act arrogantly. He said that he wasn't going to call out the worst performer from the blue team since they could speak for themselves as they knew who they were. But Chef Ramsay wasn't happy with this answer. Hey, smart I asked you to tell me. Who's the first nominee and why? But he did give him another chance to correct his mistake and ask him for the second time. And this time, Joseph nominated Tony D'Alessandro and Andy Husbands. Wondering why? For no reason at all. And Chef Ramsay wasn't appreciating this kind of brash behavior. I know you may be slightly stupid. First nominee and why? However, he got another chance to name a nominee. And this time, he just went with Tony. But all he said was that he knew why he was nominating him. Then, almost out of nowhere, Joseph started to show a lot of attitude towards Chef Ramsay. He arrogantly tried to trash the rules of the competition by saying this. What do, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? They know who they are. We chose as a group, and they stood out and they said they belong there. When Joseph started to show some aggression, do you think Ramsay took it well? Of course not. Chef Ramsay got super annoyed with his attitude. Listen, you chip idiot. I asked for one nominee and why. The famous chef then walked up to him and asked him in plain English for the last time who the first nominee was and why. And when Joseph responded in a very arrogant way, Chef Ramsay couldn't believe what he was hearing. He said, Unbelievable. One simple request, who and why, and you make a big song and dance about it. But what Joseph said next sparked one of the most famous memes from Hell's Kitchen ever. Now tell me, who hasn't heard this one? I ain't no chef. I don't give a what? I'm not no All that aggression definitely wasn't needed. 
which is why I can't understand why Joseph did what he did. Right from the very beginning, Joseph didn't have his heart in the competition, so why did he even sign up in the first place? While everyone was shocked by his reaction, including Chef Ramsay, Robert Hesse tried to explain to Joseph that Ramsay was only trying to bring the best out of him. He just needed to look past everything else with a greater good in mind, but Joseph wasn't having any of it. When Robert's words failed to get through to him, Suzanne Schlitt asked Joseph to show some respect, but he rudely asked her to shut up. Even though Suzanne was trying to get in another point, Joseph once again asked her to shut up. Chef Ramsay couldn't make sense of what was happening. For the last time, when Chef Ramsay told Joseph to answer his question, the highly agitated contestant lost his mind and did the unthinkable. What do you want me to say? I ask the question, you give the answers. That You want a jacket? You want to talk some Let's go step outside. I ain't here for that, dog. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what this would have led to, but it could have been really bad. But before a major confrontation took place, two members of the crew stepped forward to break up the fight. However, I think that wasn't even necessary since Chef Ramsay is actually a black belt karate champion. But who is gonna explain this to Joseph? You wanna get f***ing rough? Do you think I'm scared? Huh? Look at you. Despite all the drama, Joseph had no intention of keeping his mouth shut and continued to insult Chef Ramsay. Noticing this, Chef Ramsay only had one thing left to say. You got no respect. No respect. Now get out. But Joseph couldn't keep his mouth shut. He continued to hurl insults all the way out the door. I don't need some limey prick talking to me like that. He also added that he would go back home and work so hard that anybody would hire him to work in a kitchen and would be proud to have him there. Joseph's departure became one of the most infamous moments on Hell's Kitchen. After this episode, many believed that the whole fight was staged since Hell's Kitchen was rumored to be scripted. However, since Chef Ramsay is an intense person, fans are always eager to know if things escalate on the show. Before Joseph's infamous fight took place, Chef Ramsay also had an intense outburst in Season 5 with Giovanni Filippone. This happened back in Episode 10 when Chef Ramsay called Filippone a face and Filippone resorted to saying that he wasn't one. Hearing this, the famous chef lost his cool and blew up in his face right then and there. Pissed are you? I'm not Look at me, look at me eyes! Not as pissed as I am! You Ah, no. Anyway, Kevin Cottle in a Reddit AMA back in 2009, when asked about the fight being staged, he said that it wasn't. He said, that was real. Y'all never got a chance to see some of the crazy things that he did. I have some crazy stories about Joseph that weren't shown on camera. According to reports, Joseph also attempted to start a fight with a man somewhere in his neighborhood and was subsequently arrested and charged with assault. The outcome of this incident remains unknown, but it's clear that Joseph's behavior caused an immense amount of disruption but also posed a threat to the public's safety. There's no doubt that Chef Ramsay gives harsh criticism to the chefs who don't do things properly, but he also equally praises them when they do things that are great. At the end of the day, like any other reality show, Hell's Kitchen also goes through a lot of editing, so we don't really get to see what happens behind the scenes. Producers are well aware of how well Chef Ramsay's overblown criticisms keep viewers engrossed in the show. However, a lot of chefs who have worked with Chef Ramsay say that he isn't as outrageous as the cameras portray him to be. Chef Christina Wilson, the Season 10 champion, said that Chef Ramsay is actually quite kind, modest, and helpful with his criticism. She also said that Chef Ramsay is much more compassionate than what viewers ultimately see on screen and that his behavior greatly depends on the circumstances. For instance, if you've noticed, Chef Ramsay is much more serious and passionate during the dinner services than he is in any other part of the show. And guess what? There are also bodyguards for Chef Ramsay in case something goes wrong. A prime example of this is someone crazy like Joseph. The bodyguards apparently always stay off camera and step in to protect Chef Ramsay only if it's required. So what happened to Joseph after his thunderous exit? Joseph reportedly accepted a position as an executive chef and joined the ownership of the renowned American Beauty Bistro in New York. His employment history also includes working at Mitch and Tom's in Albertson. He later became the executive chef at Uncle Jack's Steakhouse. But in 2017, after Taste American Grill opened in Massapeka Park, he became the executive chef in the kitchen. As a little side note, did you know that the process of entering Hell's Kitchen takes months? Well, if we're talking about processes that take long, my videos are one of them. So to show your appreciation for my work, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. With that out of the way, let's see what the Hell's Kitchen selection process looks like. According to Arielle Malone, a contestant from season 15, the interview process is far more involved than most people realize. She said that over the course of a couple of months, she underwent a number of rounds of interviews. 
This was so the show's producers could determine whether her background and personality fit well with their plans for the show. The initial interviewing step involved a phone call which followed a meeting with the producers. They then invited her to New York for an on-camera interview after determining that she had potential. It's only then that you receive an invitation for a face-to-face -face interview in Los Angeles. Now, this makes me wonder. Of course Joseph would have, have to have gone through all these steps as well. So did they include him just for the show's ratings or did he actually just lie during the interviews? Let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching guys!